Struggling home with your last minute Christmas shopping? Many of us wish we were a world away on some tropical island soaking up the warm rays of the sun. Well, one Cardiff man has recreated that tropical feeling in his living room. Victoria Priest has the story. Imagine yourself on a beach with the waves gently lapping against the sand, picking tropical fruit from the trees. Well, Steve Andrews from Ely doesn't need a Hawaiian island. Amongst his mini jungle of exotic plants in his front room, he's achieved a first for Wales, a homegrown pineapple. And I bought a pineapple. I quite like eating pineapple. And I thought, I'll give it a go, see if I can grow one. And the top bit, this sort of spiky rosette bit, I twisted it and it came away. And I thought, OK, well, I'll, I'll stick this in a pot. I got a pot, quite a small one, put some earth in there and stuck it in. It's taken about four years to grow, but Steve says he hasn't given the plant any special treatment except for the occasional feed. In fact, his house was only recently installed with central heating, so the pineapple hasn't even benefited from subtropical temperatures. I'm known for being a bit eccentric, but I, I don't actually talk to plants. I think water is one of the most important things. I think uh, quite often people lose plants because either they overwater them or B, they don't give them enough water, they go away for a day or so. And when they come back, the plant's all sort of wilted. And the simple thing, water. But even horticultural experts are astounded by the homegrown fruit. For pineapple, you want quite warm conditions, maybe looking at 20, 22 degrees um, in the house, and uh, then also quite high humidity. The plant itself is quite tolerant of a range of conditions, but to get it to active fruit, you do want to have warm and humid conditions. He's certainly got a green finger. Steve has also grown avocados, kiwi fruit, and other exotic plants, but he says his pineapple is extra special. That would be nice, wouldn't it? A pineapple for Christmas, homegrown. But I, I, I'm, I'm going to try and get it, I think, to about that sort of wide and maybe about that tall, the actual fruit part. But, uh, well, we'll have to see. Victoria Pierce, HTV News, Ely.